My name is Dan Durkin. We're at the back of the Mountain Operations Building at Jackson Hole Mountain Resort, and I am the food and beverage warehouse manager. I grew up in Greenwich, Connecticut. We loved being in the mountains. We always did ski trips. Was I the, the diehard of the family? Not right away, but it evolved over the years when I went to college in Colorado. After I graduated college, worked in Washington, D.C. for five years, was a protocol officer, and I ran visits of heads of state when they came to Washington to meet with the president. From there, I went to business school at New York University. One thing I did was called investor relations, where you would represent a company's equity, their stock, and help promote it. Felt like it was a bit of an obligation to prove myself in this other arena. It was an expectation that I felt this was the road that I was supposed to go down. After 10 years in New York, I was really beginning to burn out emotionally, physically, mentally, all these different areas. I ended up wanting to go on a ski trip. Signed up for a Doug Coombs ski camp in LaGrave. And I didn't know a lot about Doug Coombs, I have to be honest. He was one of the uh, most fun individuals that just lived life to the fullest. Still one of the greatest days I had skiing ever was a day with him. The last one was down about a thousand foot couloir where he had to rappel us down an ice waterfall. And I was just amazed of how much fun this whole new type of skiing could be. You know, we connected over that where every day on skis is a great day. But that one trip skiing with Doug Coombs sealed my fate of moving to Jackson. And within a month and a half of that trip, I was here. Yeah, I was skiing that day and I, I, I think I was in the tram actually and I heard people talking about it. And how could someone like Doug, who, who knew the mountains so well, have perished in the mountains? Uh, it, was, it was a shock and super sad. When I moved out here, I had absolutely no idea what I was going to do. I was just going to live day by day, uh, but as I persevered in finding a way to make it work, patience was a huge thing that I had to have, but also the attitude that you can create a life no matter where you are in a place that you want to be. This job I have right now as the warehouse manager, there are a lot of challenges in the logistics of how to get food product to all the restaurants, whether up a snowcat, up a gondola. But I also look at my other side of my life, the skiing and the, the biking and all the other outside life challenges that I like to look at. It's not just career, it's the whole encompassing life that Jackson has to offer. You don't have to do what 90% of the world is doing. My fulfillment here is tenfold, hundredfold, compared to living in New York City. We all have choices in life, and I finally got to the point where I'm making decisions for myself. I go to bed every night completely satisfied with decisions I've made, where I'm at. There's rarely a day that I get up and, and drive out, and I'm still amazed that I made it.